The Lower Boise River is an important wildlife resource in the heart of Idaho's most urbanized landscape. Idaho Fish and Game is studying the river to collect important information needed to better understand and manage the different trout populations. The Lower Boise River watershed begins at Lucky Peak Dam and continues for 64 miles to its confluence with the Snake River near Parma, Idaho. The river flows through a variety of urban and agricultural settings. As a result, the river has been significantly changed by flood control measures like dams and levees, agricultural irrigation, and urban and industrial runoff. The Lower Boise River plays a major role in delivering irrigation water to farms and homes throughout the Treasure Valley. However, the river's recreational value has increased tremendously as Idahoans gain more appreciation for its wildlife and fisheries resources. In 2011, Idaho Fish and Game did an economic survey and we estimated about 60,000 individual fishing trips a year on the Boise River. And we estimate close to $3 million a year in uh, angler expenditures on those fishing trips. That includes gas, groceries, tackle, things like that, and it goes throughout the entire economy. Historically, winter flows in the Boise River were very low. Low flows increased the impact of pollution from urban and industrial runoff, and trout populations suffered. Regulations like the Clean Water Act helped improve water quality throughout the river. New standards for temperature and suspended sediment provided better habitat for the fish and wildlife that use the river. In the mid-1980s, winter stream flows were increased to 247 cubic feet per second. This dramatically improved the health of the river, including the trout population. Shortly after, surveys from 1994 to 2010 show wild rainbow trout increased by nearly 17 times. During this period, trout populations also benefited from improved water quality and increasing interest in catch and release fishing. The Boise River is home to both rainbow and brown trout. The trout are mostly wild, but hatchery rainbow and brown trout are stocked to improve fishing. Until recently, trout population surveys were limited to four segments, mostly in the Boise area. Surveys were usually done in the fall, during the low water period. Fisheries biologists wanted to get more information about harvest of wild trout and understand if stocking hatchery brown trout is working. In June 2015, we used electrofishing to survey the trout population. What we wanted to do was take a, a very large piece of the river between Lucky Peak and Middleton and just try to collect as many brown trout as possible. Captured trout were tagged before being released back into the river. If anglers catch a tagged trout, they can report the tag information using the Idaho Fish and Game Tag Your It hotline or website. 694. 694. We learn a lot of things. First and foremost, uh, how many times does a fish get caught or harvested? 8. 64. Tags can also be helpful to determine migration patterns and survival. We also get to learn a little bit about movement because of that. You know, we might tag a fish down by eagle and it might get caught down by star or further upstream. As of December 1st, 2015, only 4% of tag trout were caught and only one trout was harvested. We've got about 4 to 5% of wild trout get harvested every year, which is a very small proportion of the population. Biologists hope to see more tag returns in the future. These trout surveys provided important information about the Boise River's trout population 
over a much larger area than previous surveys. The brown trout. Yep. 31673. Yeah. Wild brown trout averaged 13 inches, and the biggest surveyed was 24 inches. The highest numbers of brown trout were found between Eagle and Star. Rambo 365. Wild rainbow trout were 11 inches on average, with the largest surveyed at 22 inches. The highest catch rates of rainbow trout occurred around Eagle Island. Despite stocking about 150,000 hatchery brown trout since 2009, only one hatchery brown trout was caught during the survey. Dash 31667. Understanding the distribution of trout and harvest rates will help biologists manage this important fishing resource. A lot of the rainbow trout Six, are nine. higher up in the stream and down below eagle and whatnot, we see a lot more uh, brown trout. Survey data like this can help inform fishing regulations and habitat restoration strategies Three, five, to make sure eight. the Boise River continues to be an exciting trout destination. We're very fortunate to have the Boise River coming through town like this, to have such a spectacular river. And I think it gives this city a lot of its character. It's a phenomenal trout fishery uh, right through town. And this is a really good example of how valuable these resources are and what they mean to our state.